Have you ever found yourself wondering through the noise of the screens and as you think about what you desire in life, how did I get here? I think we need to have a conversation about how this might impact our research participants. We don't have that issue here. Let's stick to the same design that we've been using and let's wrap it up by EOD tomorrow. Have you ever found yourself through the long days and short nights feeling tired? Not because you've done too much, but because you've done too little of what sparks a light in you? As if something in you got lost along the way? But what if it could be different? What if you could feel and be more confident? What if you could begin to feel that spark again? Welcome to Humanity Centered. We're building a community of the most supportive and growth-oriented minds in UX and tech to help you better advocate for yourself and others in capitalistic systems. What if it was possible to flourish instead of just survive on this journey with folks who truly get you, who hear you and see you? What if you could be and feel less alone in the work of being human-centered, of being humanity-centered? Ethics are in the details. How can you be accountable to what you learn today? So there's a situation at work and I would love to hear you all's perspective. We got you, what's going on? as we pursue the personal work required to do our best professional work. What if you could be brave enough to have the conversations that you've always been afraid to have? So, is everyone ready to move on to the next one? So I want to go back to Zoe's concern from last week about our participants. What if, and ooh, do I love believing in the what if. What if you could set better boundaries at work so that you could be more humanity-centered, not just towards others, but towards yourself? What if you could learn new tools and develop the skills to show up in the ways you've always wanted to? What if you could find light in your work and in your life again? What if you could finally breathe again? What if you didn't have to live in the what if.